So I played a World War Simulator to see what would happen if all the world's countries battled it out. We'll be going until only one country is left, so let's begin. All right, the world conflict has begun and nations are already beginning to colonize the seas around them. It seems that both Canada and Portugal have crossed the Atlantic and a conflict is already breaking out in Central Asia between Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan. Looks like Puerto Rico and Venezuela are going at it. And there's a massive conflict between Angola and the Democratic Republic of the Congo in Central Africa. And Mongolia has already decided that they need to reform the empire and is going after China. China is also going after Kazakhstan as well. I know that Mongolia will make Genghis proud. And looks like uh, Germany just started a conflict with the Netherlands and annexed them. It's always a bad sign when Germany starts going on the offensive. Algeria is trying to conquer the desert and is going after Mauritania. Also, our first alliances have begun to form with France and Belgium sharing an alliance, and also Poland and the Baltic states. Seems like they're trying to reform the Commonwealth. There's also some interesting alliances in West Africa, and Peru, Bolivia has also made a comeback. Additionally, the Philippines and Indonesia have joined forces as well. Mongolia is still holding on, and now it looks like Tajikistan is going after Afghanistan. Oh, and the Danes have just declared war on Norway, trying to get back their old territory, I see. There's also a lot of conflicts in Central America, with Mexico getting completely demolished by Belize, and now Guatemala going after El Salvador. And it looks like America has just declared war on Canada. And since Canada has already taken Michigan, it looks to be going just as well as 1812 did. Unsurprisingly, the Balkans is a complete mess with Romania and Bulgaria going at it. Also, Greece is in this conflict with Bulgaria as well. Iraq is trying to start another Gulf War by going after Kuwait and they actually beat them this time. And at this point, I'm just waiting for a massive war to start in West Africa with all these complex chains of alliances. Oh, and it looks like the Germans have allied with Slovakia. Also, Austria and Croatia have joined forces. And Japan has interestingly allied with Vietnam. I guess they're trying to remake their old alliance from WW2. And it seems like Turkey is trying to reform the Ottoman Empire by going after Iraq and Bulgaria as well. And it looks like they're going after Syria now also. It appears that there's still very much conflict in Central Africa, and it also looks like Morocco and Spain Spain are going at it. Looks like the Spanish are trying to retake their old colony of Western Sahara, and they do it. Oh, Morocco's in a tough spot right now. If Spain takes their capital, they're done for. And it looks like Morocco has collapsed to the hands of Spain. This isn't good. The Germans are going after Denmark. Now the UK is attacking Iceland. It seems that Syria is blitzing through Turkey, but they did just peace out. And Sudan is going after South Sudan, trying to reunite the two Sudans. <laughs> And Japan is going after South Korea. Interesting. Interesting. Taiwan is still fortunately holding strong. They haven't been attacked yet. Oh? Looks like that massive war in West Africa that I was talking about finally broke out. And now that I'm looking at it, Africa really has a lot of alliances. China has allied with Mongolia and North Korea. And Japan has also expanded their alliance to Malaysia as well. And there's a lot of conflict going on in the Balkans, of course, with the Hungarian. Hungarians seemingly trying to retake Transylvania. Ukraine is also going after Hungary. Oh, and there we go. That's it for Hungary. I'm now noticing that Colombia has begun to reform Grand Colombia. And would you look at this, a tale as old as time, the French and British are at each other's throats. The Hundred Years' War has just started up once again. Oh, and are the British going to take Paris? Nearly there. Oh, there we have it. The British have just taken out France. Oh, and a massive conflict in Asia, Russia and China. China are at war. The Russians are now nearly at China's capital. Oh, and they just peaced out. Still, now Russia has a lot more territory. And it seems that the Danes and Swedes are at war now. The UK has now joined Germany's alliance, and Italy has made a pact with Austria. And very unexpectedly, it looks like the USA has taken out Cuba. And the Greeks are now making their way into North Africa by going after Libya. And Israel is at war with both Jordan and Syria. It's not looking good 
for them. Never mind, they just took out Jordan. Looks like Syria is about to take their capital. Oh, and they did it. Israel is gone. Germany and the UK are now fighting together against Denmark and Iceland. And in a beautiful reenactment of the War of the Pacific, Peru and Bolivia are attacking Chile. I'm confident Bolivia is doing this to regain that coastline that they lost. And now the Portuguese and Canadians are fighting each other for control of the Central Atlantic. Poland has just been attacked by Austria and Croatia. Seems like New Zealand has taken control of New Caledonia. Also in Oceania, Papua New Guinea is taking down Australia. Right now, the alliance map of the world looks something like this, with almost all of South America being united under one alliance, and Europe being characteristically divided into many. The Caucasus states and Iran have also joined forces. Same goes for all of Southern Africa. And it looks like Turkey is going after Greece. Very surprising. Oh, and the Turks have just taken out Greece. I look forward to seeing the future of this very harmonious union. And the fate of Iberia is being decided. Seems like Switzerland has broken their neutrality and is attacking Italy. When the Swiss break their neutrality, you know something's up. And by the looks of it, Kim has taken out South Korea and has united the peninsula under Best Korea. Oh, and there is a massive war going on in South America between Brazil, Peru, and Colombia. Panama has just joined the war against Colombia as well. But unfortunately for the Panamanians, Colombia has struck back. And Grand Colombia is doing surprisingly well against Brazil and Peru. They've now conquered like half of the Amazon. The second Mexican-American war has broken out as well. And looks like Turkey is trying to reconquer even more of the Balkans. And now they head after Moldova and Iran now also. Turkey is really trying to take on everyone at once. And now it's the Bahamas versus the Dominican Republic. Looks like America is about to regain control of Florida. Very unfortunate. And apparently Switzerland is trying to reconquer the former Roman Empire. Now Saudi Arabia and Somalia are fighting in Yemen. And Egypt just joined the war against them also. It seems like India has now consolidated most of the subcontinent. Also Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan are at war once again. The Anglo-Germanic alliance is now going after Sweden. It also appears that Canada has formed an anti-America alliance, with them allying with every single nation that borders them. Oh, and the Dominican Republic is trying to take down Colombia, with Nicaragua also helping them as well. And would you look at this, Ukraine and Poland are fighting each other. Russia has just gone after Poland, and they're going to get them through Kaliningrad. Uh-oh. Oh, and Russia has just conquered Poland. History repeats itself once again. And speaking of history repeating itself, 1941 is happening all over again. And it looks like the Japanese are going after China and North Korea. Or should I say that the Chinese and North Koreans are going after Japan. Mexico has just teamed up with the Dominican Republic to go after the Bahamas. It seems like they want their great beaches all to themselves. Oh, and it looks like there's a massive war in Asia with China and India fighting each other. Also, Kazakhstan is joining in again. Now, Iran seems seems like it's trying to reform the Persian Empire, trying to go after Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. Oh, and they just took out Turkmenistan. And it looks like even though they were at war with Turkey, they've now formed an alliance with them. And Germany's alliance only continues to grow, even including Russia as well. At long last, all of South America is now allied, and West Africa has also settled their disputes. The US is pretty much by itself, but they are friends with the Bahamas. Oh, and somehow pulling Poland has returned, and Japan and China are fighting again, with Vietnam joining in this time as well. And Taiwan is going after China. Let's see how that'll work out for them. Oh, and there goes Taiwan. Colombia is somehow still fighting the Dominican Republic. Man, these guys really don't like each other. And China and India are once again at war, with, of course, Kazakhstan also fighting China. Oh, India's making a massive counteroffensive against China. Oh, and Vietnam is back. A major defeat for China. Oh, who's right? Russia fighting now. Russia is going after Ukraine. This simulation is surprisingly realistic. And it appears that Poland is gone once again. A major war has broken out in the Malay Archipelago. And that war between Saudi Arabia and Somalia is somehow still going.
I stand corrected. Never mind, they're at war again. Looks like Portugal managed to conquer Spain and is now fighting with Algeria, though it doesn't appear to be going very well for them. Could we soon be seeing the end of Germany to the hands of Denmark? Germany is about to be defeated. They're about to take their capital. Germany keeps changing their capital. Oh, oh my, that is ridiculous. Denmark took all of mainland Germany, but because Germany had this little exclave over here, they still live. America is being attacked on all sides. Oh, Oh, there goes Saudi Arabia. South Sudan has snaked across the central part of Africa and is going after the Democratic Republic of the Congo, who is going after Namibia. I guess Colombia finally managed to get rid of the Dominican Republic, and their next target is the Bahamas. Oh, this is it for the Democratic Republic of the Congo. And the Swiss are continuing their attempt to reform Rome by attacking Algeria. It's the old Rome versus Carthage. Looks like this is the fourth Punic War. Despite being attacked like a thousand times, Tajikistan is somehow still around. Oh, and it looks like Russia is making major gains. They took out North Korea. And China's not doing much better. Oh, and there we go. China's gone. Russia just took out China. Now Russia is looking scarily large in this game, and they just went after India. They are really trying to take over all of Eurasia. And Kazakhstan. Why not? It appears that that war between the USA and Canada is still going on. And the second Falkland War has just broke out. Let's see if the Argentinians can do any better than this time. Now China has returned and has rebelled from Russia. Now Canada is getting dangerously close to DC. It seems like they're gonna soon burn the White House for a second time. The Neo-Persian Empire is really coming together now. And it seems like the fifth Punic War has broke out now. Oh, and it looks like Algeria is getting pushed back. Though Libya is supporting them. Russia, Russia is going after China again. Trying to get rid of the revolt. Oh, never mind. Never mind. This is a very unexpected result. China actually managed to retake a large portion of their territory. Canada's America hate group has now also expanded to Europe, but at the very least, the USA now has friends in Colombia and Peru. Ukraine is kind of acting like a massive wall in the middle of Europe now, and both Namibia and South Africa are still holding strong. Japan was in a tough position before, but now it just seems like they're back exactly where they started. For some reason, the Bahamas have done surprisingly well this game, and it appears that Canada has finally finished the job and taken out the USA, leaving the Bahamas with the entire Gulf of Mexico. Seriously, these guys are this game's underdog. For some reason, Burkina Faso has two capitals, and China is launching a massive counteroffensive against Russia, and it looks like the Bahamas are avenging their American friends by going after Canada. Switzerland is once again going after Algeria, but this time, Portugal is joining in as well. And, um, apparently Ukraine has now been relegated to just Croatia. And Colombia continues their massive expansion in South America. Looks like Kenya has united most of East Africa. Oh my, look at this. Massive war in Europe between Estonia, Russia, Moldova, and Denmark. Vietnam and China are fighting again, with them getting dangerously close to China's capital. Oh, and oh, China's gone. China's gone again. Oh, and Switzerland is trying to take Constantinople by going after Turkey. The map right now is looking very interesting. And Germany has somehow made a massive comeback. By the looks of it, an anti-Columbia faction has been formed in South America, with the Bahamas now going after Canada again. Oh, never mind, they're, uh, they're, they're, they're losing. Libya is making major gains into Turkey and the Balkans, and Malaysia is still alive in this small part of the Philippines, and Germany is still holding out despite being attacked on both sides by the British, the once allies now turned enemies. And Switzerland is not even in Switzerland, anymore. They're in Austria. And I think this war between Iran and India and Kazakhstan has been going on for like 200 years now. South Sudan is heading up north to take out Libya, with Nigeria joining them as well. Though Estonia is heading all the way through western Russia, taking Moscow. And now Vietnam and Indonesia seem to be the only remaining nations in Southeast Asia. Japan is attempting to take mainland China again. Oh, a massive war has just broken out in Europe. Germany, this could be the end of them. Switzerland and the United Kingdom are closing on to their capital, Amsterdam. Oh, but Estonia has joined in against the British, who in turn is against the Russians, and the Germans are just blitzing through all of Northern Europe. 
Oh my, the, the UK is gone. Holy f how, oh my. Germany just took out the UK like, like that. In five seconds, the UK was gone. I guess German tactics never fail. Oh, and they're going after Lithuania and Estonia. It seems like Greenland just joined Canada. The Lithuanians are really pushing back the Germans now. And if we look over at the central Mediterranean, we can see the 100th Punic War. Oh, there we go. Germany's out by Canada. The Canadians aren't playing nice no more. Oh, when did the Bahamas get out? Ah, oh, that's so sad. I was rooting for them. Colombia is going after Brazil again, hoping to take all of South America. And it looks like Canada has begun to reform NATO as well, with all of Western Europe being in their alliance. Oh, but Switzerland is done for. Just like that, Portugal completely demolished them. And the Russians are making their way back to Moscow, pushing on their Western front against Estonia. Oh, and Japan is making a massive invasion into northern China. Oh, never mind. Vietnam's pushing them back. And it looks like the forever war between Kazakhstan, India, and Iran could almost be coming to a close because Russia has now joined the war against them as well. Portugal is still trying to make their way into northern Africa with little success. Australia has now been cut into two by Indonesia. Turkey has somehow conquered all of Eastern Europe, and they're making rapid gains against Portugal. And it looks like Russia has retaken Moscow. And now Vietnam is being carved up by Russia and India. And the meat grinder that is the Colombian-Brazilian War continues. Oh, and Russia has just declared war on Estonia and Turkey. Estonia is now at war with the entire Canadian alliance. Burkina Faso has also become surprisingly large. Namibia has taken out South Africa and now has dominance over the southern half of the continent. And there seems to be a massive naval war over the Atlantic between Burkina Faso and Brazil. Oh, and what the? When did this happen? Canada just took over all of Western Europe and they're now going after Burkina Faso. Yes, Colombia and Brazil are still at war. Oh, and South Sudan and Nigeria come out of nowhere and are destroying Burkina Faso. Oh, what's happening to Russia? Kazakhstan and Turkey are destroying them. Oh, India! Kazakhstan is blitzing through India. Kazakhstan just became so massive so quick. Oh, Togo's about to go. Oh, Burkina Faso has just landed in mainland Brazil. Oh no, both of Burkina Faso's capitals have just been taken by Nigeria. The Canadians continue to ravage through Europe. The Japanese are now on the island of Taiwan also. Oh, and, and, and Japan is getting completely closed in on. Oh, they're getting carved up. This is it. This is the end of Japan. Yep. India and China have now partitioned Japan. Oh, and interestingly, Brazil and Colombia now formed an alliance. Oh, South Sudan just collapsed. I'm really surprised with how long Iran has survived in this game. They've been in almost constant war against Kazakhstan. Vietnam is now turning the tables on Indonesia and going for their capital. Or, um, maybe I spoke too soon because now India... Oh, maybe... Not. Actually, no, I, I spoke too soon the other way because now Vietnam is blitzing through Indonesia. Iran's actually making major gains in Kazakhstan. Oh, this is it for Vietnam. India just declared war on them again. Oh, no. Oh, what the? No, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. This is not it for Vietnam. Oh, Madagascar has landed on the mainland of Africa and is destroying Namibia. I'm really curious to see who wins between Kazakhstan and Iran. This little saga between them has been going on for so long now. Oh, and apparently Vietnam decided to make friends with all the people that attacked them. We're now on the fastest speed, so things are about to really get crazy. Oh, 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 Russia. Russia, Russia, oh, Canada. <laughs> what just happened? Oh, oh, can is Canada the- Oh, oh, Turkey, Turkey! Oh, they're, get they're getting partitioned! Oh, Turkey survives? What? Oh, they got support from Syria. Oh, oh, is Kazakhstan gonna go? Oh, never mind. No, of course they're not. Tur How is Turkey still alive? Oh, more support's being sent to Burkina Faso, who's who's going after Canada. And and Russia is also going after Can- Oh, who just died? Estonia just died. Okay, this has to be it for Turkey. Yep, this is it. Turkey's done for. The Neo-Ottoman Empire was just not meant to be. Oh, India's going after Kazakhstan and Russia. India is now moving through Japan. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Russia's- Russia's has just launched a massive counter. Oh, ne never mind again. Okay. Colombia is back attacking Brazil. Oh, and Canada now controls all of Europe. Oh, they're going for Syria now. The Canadians. Oh, it's not looking good for Brazil. Oh, but Colombia is going after Burkina Faso? Oh, 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 what is... Russia! Russia is taking back all of Europe! The alliances are looking something like this. So, Russia and Kazakhstan are allied with Burkina Faso and all of the nations in the Americas except Brazil are allied to each other as well. And the old Middle Eastern alliance between Iran and Syria is still holding strong, which now includes Australia. Oh, what's happening to India? Everybody has really been getting a piece of India recently, and now Namibia has become 
Oh. I was about to say that Namibia has become the Chile of Africa, but they just united with Madagascar. Canada is still somehow able to hold on to their European territories, even though there is no connection between them. Oh, and oh, Kazakhstan! Kazakhstan was annexed by Russia. I guess we will never know who would have won in a war between Iran and Kazakhstan. Oh, Colombia's out of money. Yeah, I think this is the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, this is it for Colombia. I knew when they ran out of money, they were done for. But what an amazing comeback for Brazil. They went from being pushed back to only this part of South America to now only the entire continent. And slowly but surely, Canada is losing their grip in Europe. Oh, oh, Burkina Faso! Burkina Faso! Burkina Faso just joined Russia. What a twist of events. We're down to only a few nations. Let's see who will win. India has kind of moved away from India to now taking all of China. What is Canada doing? Okay, Canada just retook the Balkans. Okay, we're left with only three alliances. The Canadian, the Russian, and... India. Just India. Oh, Siberia. Russia seems to be being attacked on all sides. There goes Canada. Canada is out of Europe. Oh, and there India goes, taking all of Siberia. Oh, and Canada is coming from the West. Yeah, this is it for Russia. They're out of money. The Russians had a great run, but this is the end. And there we go. Russia is gone. And it looks like Brazil decided to leave Canada's alliance. And now Canada is going after them. We're really in the end game now. Oh, what happened to Canada's alliance? It just disbanded. They just lost all their allies. This may be the end for Syria as well. Yep, there we go. Syria's gone. Oh, and Madagascar and Brazil are going after Canada now. Oh, but India is going after Madagascar, and Australia is going after India. Oh, no, this is bad news for India. The entire world just created a coalition against them. Oh, but Madagascar has backstabbed Canada. They've now finally crossed the Indian Ocean and landed in Australia, and despite having most of the world against them, India is still in a really good position to win this. Oh, no, Australia is running really low on money right now, and all the constant attacks by their neighbors has really depleted India's reserves as well. And it looks like Australia just united with Madagascar. So now it's only Canada, Brazil, Madagascar, and India. And I feel like Brazil will be the next one to go. Oh, and Canada is out of money. This is terrible news for the Canadians. This allows both Madagascar and India to move in. Madagascar is- Oh, India is out of money. Oh no, this is not good. And when did Brazil get taken out? The Canadians and Indians really need to form an alliance right now if they want to defeat Madagascar. This is it. There we go. India has fallen. Madagascar has taken out the entire old world and has only one more target, Canada. Yeah, I'm sorry, Canada, but it's just not happening. And there we have it. Madagascar is taking over all of North America. They only have Alaska and the Western US now. Yep, there we have it. Say goodbye to Canada. This leaves us with only one nation, Madagascar. They're definitely not the nation I thought would have won, but it's definitely an interesting outcome. And now the whole world like to move it, move it. Say hello to your new world emperor, King Julian. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. See you then.